What's, go what's going on? Is there anything happening, you know, that I need to be aware of? Is, is there birds being, are the babies in there being fed? Because one of the important things as far as timing is once the babies get to be 16 days or older, they have the ability to jump out of the box, but they can't fly back in. Mm. And in general, what we do is we just don't open during that time period because, and I've, I've made the mistake of not doing the math right, and or not having enough data and open the box and they just all jump out and now you're like frantically you're trying to keep any all the rest of them by holding the box putting your hand over the hole and grabbing the other ones and stuffing them back in. <laughs> and sometimes you stuff them back in and then they still jump back out because now they're freaked out they're like yeah. oh my god there's this huge thing that's like just picking yeah. me up and i'm wigging out my getting out of here <laughs> you know? so anyway that's one of the uh the things that you have to be careful of and in general you can usually tell because Usually they're awake and it's during the day and there's lots of noise and activity, but every now and then they're sleeping. Mm. And that's when I made this mistake. I'm like, I don't hear anything. I don't see anything. I've been here for, you know. In general, if you wait at least 10 minutes, the, if the parents are feeding, they're going to come by and feed. Because okay. they, they, they have to feed on average every seven minutes. Every seven. To, yeah. On average, to, to, during the day to keep the babies developing mm. so if you in general if you wait about 10 minutes you're gonna know okay. but I've done that waited 10 minutes and they were sleeping and I didn't and the parents were off doing something and I opened the box and they wake up and they jump out how about if you <laughs> tap the box a little and try to wake them that, up <laughs> you'll see I'll do that especially with the hanging box I kind of tap it and I, and I speak I talk I yeah. say anybody home knock knock yeah exactly you're, you're kind of like you know it's courtesy you're, you're because you're, you're coming into their home. <laughs> and it's good for them to, they don't wig, they wig out less probably. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why we don't monitor the boxes more than once a week, because we don't want to overstress the right. parents in particular. <laughs> and another thing I like to do is I like to keep the box facing the same direction that it was because if the birds are in here and they fly out you want them to kind of be oriented you don't want them to be disoriented and fly into a tree because they're not it's not natural to have the cavity move like these boxes do right so that's another little thing and you see I keep the box tilted back just a little bit in case there's eggs in it I don't want them to roll forward if I do open the box like this the whole thing could come flying out right clockwise let's see what we got going on in here I see feathers. Somebody's been roosting. Those are tiny little feathers. Mm, little downy feathers. Yeah. Could be a woodpecker. Nobody's been pecking on it though, so that's good. One of the few boxes on this trail that the woodpeckers have left alone. And a lot of times I'll just say, oh, well, let's pretend I'm the branch. Because I really want it to tilt forward a little bit so the rain doesn't go into the entrance hole. Because if the eggs and the babies get wet, that can be a bad thing on a cold night. And you can see now it's, it's, it's really solid. I don't even really have to do this test. I can tell it's just not going to move much. That's what you want right there. There you go. And you see we got little steps here for the so they can climb up. Oh, I wondered about that. Wow. Huh. Yeah, because in a natural cavity it's rough. Yeah. You know, but so we okay. have to, since we're using wood that's flat, we have to rough it up a little bit so that they can climb out. In particular, the violet green swallows, because they have the shortest legs <laughs> of any of our uh, medium-sized cavity nesting birds. And I'll give it the, what I call the, the wind test. If it gets windy and starts moving around a lot, what's going to happen? Is the box going to fall down? That looks pretty good, actually. I think I'll make the hook a little tighter. Because one of the things we have seen, Howard Rasselsberger, he used to be the county coordinator for San Mateo County, has actually seen a raccoon climb up a tree, grab the hook, lift it off, drop it down, really? climb down the tree, and eat the baby's Those skins. pesky rats. <laughs>
Yeah. See? Wow, yeah. Rick. <laughs> yeah. So one of the things we do is we try and make this hook a little bit tight so that it has some, you know, the branch catches it a little yeah. bit. And you gotta you gotta squeeze it, push it a little bit to get it over. So just that. Now today you are just uh, cleaning and doing maintenance. You're not going to write anything down, or are you going to write? Oh well, if I down? see any, if there's any data to write down, okay, I'll write it down. It. Oh, you're not on. Okay. One of the most important things, it seems, is that the entrance hole faces to an area where there's going to be some brush. Or in a tree where that the bird... Because what happens is when the fledglings take that first flight, that's the most critical flight that they take because it could be their last flight. Because <laughs> right? if they go out into an open area and a raptor sees them or a cat or something sees them, then they're, they could be history because they can't really fly well yet. Right. And that first flight, they just glide, is what I've seen. Oh, okay. I've seen a bluebird do it and just glide and just glide about 15 feet from the box. So in, the, in an open air space like this, it's not that big an area because there's brush and everywhere there's cover. But more like in an urban area or a ha backyard, that's where it gets a little bit trickier. And because so you really want to have some cover so that first flight there they can fly into and then the parents come by and, and go, oh, baby's taking the first flight to get all excited, <laughs> you know. But they you, having cover for that first flight, I think, is is part of maybe why they picked the site to begin with. You know, who knows? Yeah. That yeah. seems to be one of the issues, one of the factors to think about. So does anybody else want to try this? Get some experience with it? I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> the key with this type of retriever is sometimes if you start like this, mm -hmm. it's bad. You gotta start with it in the right position. See there's a top and a bottom. Oh, there's a top and a bottom? Right. In this case, it's really easily. Oh, I see. You want it the, the, yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. So that's some of the quality control on having these things made by Eagle Scouts is one of my biggest challenges with this program. <laughs> and sometimes they put it in the center and then it's really difficult to tell which one's the top. <laughs> Get it with your finger, or do you need yeah. it? Yeah. Empty, but it's got some dirt. Mm -hmm. Someone's been roosting mm -hmm. in it. So now we're just gonna clean it out. You see signs of success from last year. You see those that white stuff? Mm -hmm. That's poop sacks from last year's. Mm -hmm. uh, and what happens is the parents pretty much diligently remove the poop sacks from the babies as they. But what happens is they get as they get bigger. And they need more food, and there's more, there's less space. They for, they just can't get the poop sacks out. So what mm. happens is the baby squish the poop sacks, and then it leaves a white mark. And that's actually a sign of success. Oh. That's one of the tricks you use when you're monitoring. Did I have success or not? You know, if you open the box up and there's no no unbroken eggs and no unhatched eggs, and you see a bunch of bunch of that, you're like, hey, that worked. That was yeah. that was success.